Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm taking my serrated knife and I'm going to use this to cut around it. So you want to just peel off that waxy type of a skin that's there. Be very careful. And I want you guys to cut yourself. It's best to do it on a flat surface. You could get a cutting board, but I like using my um, countertop to cut since it is a marble. Half if you want. Um, it's going to break down in the crock pot anyway. So four of these are really, really good. And I have my onions already cut up. So I want to start working on this um, oxtail seasoning and everything. So let me clean up my mess and I'll be right back okay, guys. So I clean up my little mess and I put my oxtails in just a bowl and I'm going to take a couple of seasons just to season them. Now remember we have our crock pot already on low. Okay so let's do a little bit of the seasoning. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, beef seasoning. It's for beef and steak seasoning. And it has all kinds of stuff in it. Salt, garlic, citrus seasoning, spices and stuff like that. So you can take a little bit of this and add that into your um, oxtails. So I'm just going to take a tablespoon. and add that in okay it smells really really good you know it has all types of stuff you can see the seasons in there which is really really good see a lot of parsley oregano and all of that stuff in there so that's a good seasoning to use then I'm going to take some um, ground black pepper and I'm going to be easy on this because my children do not like spicy stuff so I don't like it either so I'm just going to take a half a teaspoon just to give it a little bit of kick to it and flavor. Then I'm going to take some garlic powder. I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of this one. It's not a lot, just a heaping of it, like just a little. And the last thing I'm going to add is some onion powder. You can use fresh garlic um, if you would like to, but I don't want it to burn in my crock pot. So that's why I'm using the powder form of the seasonings. Okay, so that's it. It looks like this. It smells really good. You can also add some sesame, which I love sesame. And if this is a little bit too salty for you, then skip the sesame. Um, but we didn't use too much salt, but the powders are kind of salty. So I'm not even going to use a whole package of this. I'm going to just take maybe just uh, three quarters of it and just add that in. And if it needs a little bit more flavor later on, I will. Now, um, I'm not going to add any salt to this because the rest of this stuff has a lot of um, salt to it. And we're also going to use the stock from the... Um, from the potatoes here so let me just show you that we have the potatoes in the pot already with the um, stock so that's good so I'm just washing the seasonings in together with the meat it smells really really good guys and one step you can do before you even actually add the meat into the crock pot is that you can brown this. Get a um, saute pan or frying pan and brown your meat first before you put it into the crock pot. But for tonight, I'm not going to do that. But, you know, you give it a little bit more flavor. You can brown the meat. But because I had my crock pot on low, it's going to sear it just a little bit. It's going to sear it just a little bit, guys. So, let me get in the view of my crock pot. Okay, so I have my crock pot already. And it's already um, on low. So I'm going to just 
lay my meat inside of the crock pot and this is going to cook for about two hours I'm going to simmer this in my crock pot so the meat is really nicely seasoned it smells amazing and I'm going to and one tip about um, buying meat from the supermarkets it's best that you go to a um, to a meat market to get your meats because you're gonna get more healthier cuts and you're gonna get more meat with it for a better price because I spent ten dollars for each one of those packs and it was like a lot of they do like four or five big pieces on the top and right up underneath it how they packed it it's smaller pieces you see but the smaller pieces are giving a little bit more flavor it's enough for my family so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the stock from my pot where the yucca is and I'm just going to put that in just a little bit not a lot because um, this is going to make its own juices once it cooks and browns and really caramelizes it's going to taste wonderful so now I'm going to add my onions in okay I added my onions in and this will feed a family of maybe five to six you know I have five and I'm sure each of us could get two servings of that so maybe a little bit more depending on the servings that you serve for your family okay so I'm going to let this cook down um, it's going to simmer down maybe for an hour at first then I'm going to come, come back and I'm going to add my canned stewed tomatoes and this has onion celery and green pepper so that's even going to give it a lot more flavor and I'll be back to show you where we are after an hour and this all cooks down okay guys okay muffins so I am back this has been cooking for at least an hour so my yucca is already done so I just want to show you the yucca so that's what it looks like when it's done um, really nice flavor it took the flavor of the stock and I'm going to show you what the oxtails look like now so these have been cooking for like an hour now so they look amazing um, and they smell smell wonderful so as you can see that the onions really got nice and soft um, there's a lot of juice in the bottom of this and be careful because that's hot I just burnt my fingers ouch so um, I love cooking in the crock pot because it takes no time it takes no time at all um, it d I don't have to do too much work um, I really don't like to cook too much so what so I'm going to do is I'm going to add those tomatoes that we got in the can the stewed tomatoes and I'm going to add that into the um, oxtails and as you can see it has nice um, ingredients in it you can see some celery in there you can see pieces of garlic in there so you add this kind of like at the end and let this stew for the next maybe 35 minutes because the meat is already done but I just wanted some flavor with the um, tomatoes so that's what it looks like and we are going to let this cook and so I hope that you really do try this. I'll do a picture at the end of what it all looks like. And that's it, guys. Bye-bye.